What is happening, guys? Uh, welcome to a Tech Tuesday. It's been a long time since we've done one. We have had one that was in the mix. It just keeps getting corrupted inside of files. But either way, what's going on? Today, I have a great uh, headset for you guys. And I know the headsets have been kind of uh, not on the channel for a while. This is Zoomir. It's a the A32 RGB. Um, it is a quite uh, stellar looking uh, headset. It's kind of like the other one I reviewed about a year ago. Um, the Zoomir, let's see. Uh, I think the Z66, which is a, a, a $23 headset. This one's a lot better. It's more like a Rockat one where it's got like adjustable head uh, heads. It's got more of an adjustable headstand on the top, and it's got a noise-canceling thing. This does work for PS4, PS5, PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series S, and X. Um, it is pretty cool. Um, we're going to see how it looks, how it performs, audio quality, and, um, it, I mean, honestly, it's a, 36, tw sorry, a $26 headset. It's brand new, and we're going to test it out, so let's the packaging is stellar, just like the last one. It kind of reminded me of a Corsair one. And I have the headset and the splitter for PC. And have a little starter guide, which we're not going to need. But it does tell you... So we have the head part cover, which is actually, it's not like easy to take off. Hold on. So the metal seems pretty good. Earmuffs nice and padded. Oh, that's a big letdown. The um, head, uh, head pieces um, do not really work very well. It doesn't really cover my ears completely well which you can kind of see a little bit it's not perfect and um you know it could be worse the headset kind of gets right to where you need it to be apparently it's a 360 degree or 90 degree rotating um thing it's got a cord for the headphones and the rgb I mean, it looks pretty good. It's just not, like, compared to my Rocket ones, I just wish my ears were fully covered. I like fully covered ears, I guess. I don't know. That's just because it's noise canceling. Looks more stylish compared. I mean, this is a completely different realm of headset. But um, this is, I mean, I've already had to have this replaced, though. So I, I will say that. This does have an 18-month warranty, so if you get it and it breaks or whatever else, it can be refunded to you. It is uh, pretty – it's nice. It's very uh, – seems well-built. The adjustable strap um, seems just, you know, like it fits your head every single time, and you can obviously adjust it to where you need it to be. I think I could get used to it. It's not going to make your, it's going to make your ears sweaty, I feel like, because the earmuffs are just, I don't think they're it. I'm, I, I don't know, I'm very picky. I need them to wrap around my ears instead of just sit on them. Uh, I feel like you are able to hear better that way, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Really nice nylon um, uh, cables. Very nice. This is going to go into... If you're using it on PC, you need the splitter. When going into the headphone and the aux to to take advantage of both, so I'm going to do that now. Um, this does work for PS4, Xbox One, uh, Xbox Series X, and of course Nintendo Switch. Pretty much every console you want it to work on. So we're going to take a look at the RGB. Yeah, that's the uh, RGB. It's pretty nice, honestly. It's only cycle, as far as I'm aware. There's no other modes. 
pretty it's pretty sick RGB. It's actually really nice. For twenty three dollars, it's not or for twenty six, it's not bad. Um, is there a mute mic button though? All right, so everything you're hearing right now is coming off this headset right here. Um, if you even turn the mic around, uh, say in a like that, it still captures the audio. It's not very loud. But it sounds pretty crisp, honestly. If I like, oh my god! Like, then it's still not overbearingly loud like most mics are. Now, we can even hear the audio from a game, which I will now play on screen here. So honestly, it's not bad. It, it sounds pretty good. For the price that you pay and the looks of it, it's not bad. I, like I said, I wish the earmuffs were just slightly bigger enough to fit around the ears. I understand from uh, maybe a cost perspective. Maybe it's a little bit. Um, but the, the drivers and the audio sounds great. Uh, that I will not deny. The RGB is really nice. And the mic doesn't sound too bad. It's pretty exceptional for the price that you pay. Obviously, it's not going to be your uh, Rockat 7.1 with Dolby surround sound, but it's a pretty solid mic for entry-level gaming or something, say, if your headset broke and you're trying to get something new. That's definitely one of the nicer things about headsets like these because they get you ready and put into start gaming without any ease, hassles, downloading of software, or anything else like that. It's just plug and play, ready to go. There is some things on PC you have to make sure your Realtek drivers are downloaded on the uh, BIOS of your motherboard. That's something that you have to do when you get set up. Um, tutorials on that all over the internet. Uh, so if you do plug in like a 3.5 jack and it doesn't work, that's the reason why. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty exceptional headset. I would definitely buy another one if I really needed another one. It's a pretty exceptional one. Sounds really good. The RGB, of course, is great. I like that they went more of like the, the elastic headband approach. It's pretty good. And honestly, I am not surprised it sounds it's really good for the price that you pay. So, guys, uh, check out more of Zamir's stuff. They got more than just headsets. Um, I've, I've reviewed a headset of theirs before. And pretty solid performance. And, of course, this as well. Solid performance. So... Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.